All levels of government are hoping Australian startups will press the button on economic growth and job creation. Startup Muster says for the first time the most common industry for startups is fintech, followed by retail and content, and one third of all startup founders are born overseas. Despite its somewhat youthful appearance, most startup founders are aged between 30 and 45. David Suter has developed a device which can better manage power usage and costs. The hardware product has a little sensor that sticks on the front of any electricity meter. His software can send notifications when energy is being wasted. So we're able to calculate in real dollars and cents what it's costing you right now because there's some horribly complex tariffs and pricing structures. His idea has generated success. We've won a number of competitions. And now needs to generate income after four years in development. The product's going to be released this year. Startup Muster says in the last 12 months, most startups saw no revenue, but about 17% reported up to $1 million in sales. Eddie Cranswick co-founded a relaxation virtual reality app and despite being out for just nine months, he already has 100,000 users globally. I actually travelled to Japan and China last year to, to look at the markets there, uh, and we saw a, definitely a, a very big opportunity. Australian startups are being encouraged to think about their export potential from the onset. Nearly 61% of the population of the world sits in Asia. You'd be crazy not to target that. Accelerating growth plans can lead to job creation. And one obviously feeds into the next. But finding talent is a big issue. We've had to source some of our talent from overseas. We've seen that 16% of startups have, um, have employees that are on work visas. 72% of startups are using co working spaces, putting them directly in contact with help. So we've had about 28 different people working on this project over four years. Uh, at the moment we have a team of four full-time and about eight contractors. David plans to manufacture here in Australia, keeping jobs locally. And for more on the world of small business, tune in to Small Business Secrets. Season 2 starts this Sunday at 5pm on SBS.